Okay, so in this particular video, we'll talk about what a service directory is and the need for a service directory. So let's assume that you're creating a project and your project contains multiple microservices. So let's imagine there's a microservice for users and there's a microservice for account and there's a microservice for sales. Now, if this particular user microservice wants to interact with the account microservice, then this particular user microservice should have the endpoint of this particular account microservice. And similarly, if this user wants to interact with the sales microservice, then it should have the endpoint of this particular sales microservice. So how a service directory helps is that it basically contains a repository. And in that repository, it will store the endpoints of all these services in one single place. So now let's assume the endpoint of this particular account microservice changes. So all that you need to do is in your particular service directory, for the account service, you just need to change the IP address or the endpoint of that particular account service. So in a way, you're creating a centralized repository where you can store all the endpoints of all the services. And this particular user, all that it needs to do is it just needs to access this particular service directory to get the appropriate endpoint. So let's see how we can do this. So let's go back to our console. So here I'm back in my console and I've created a virtual machine that will contain all the code related to my account microservice. And for this particular example, all that I've done is I've just installed an Apache web server. And if you open this, you'll get this particular output. So what I need to do is I need to associate this particular service to this particular endpoint in my service directory. So let's see how we can do that. So you can go to your service directory. You can just open this and here we'll create our particular service directory. So you can just click on register service here and here you need to choose the standard and click on next. Here you need to give the region where you want your service directory to be in. So let's just make this in US Central. Here you need to give a namespace. So let's create a namespace for our application. You can just click on create namespace. And let's just call this as my service. And let's click on create. And here we'll give the service name. The service name that we would give would be account. So that's the name of our particular service. And let's click on create. Okay, so now that you've created your service called account, all that you need to do now is just an add an endpoint to this particular service. To do that, you can just open the service. And here you can just click on add endpoint. And let's just give a name for our endpoint. Let's just call this as account endpoint. And the IP address. So the IP address is this particular IP address and the port would be 80 again. And let's not associate any VPC. So let's create this particular endpoint. Okay, so now that you've created your particular service directory, now, how do you access this endpoint using the service directory? Now, to do that, you need to use a gcloud command. So the easiest way to do it is using your gcloud service directory service resolve command. So in that, you need to mention the service. So the service that we've created is called as an account. The namespace that we've used is my service and the location where we have this service directory is in the US central one. So let me just copy this and let's run this particular command. So let's paste this command. And you can see that it will throw you the endpoint that you see over here. So if tomorrow, let's say this particular endpoint changes, all that you need to do is you can just click on this and you can just update this particular endpoint. So let's say this endpoint changes from 67 to 70. So you can just save this. Click on stay on page and then let's run this command again. So this time you can see that it changes to 70. So in a sense, you can make this service directory as the repository where you can store all the endpoints for all the services. So I hope this was a useful lesson. I'll see you in the next.